This is the um, Tennessee end of course algebra 2 practice test. This is the first practice test. They put a bunch up. Uh, number, question number 59. The question says simplify 9 over x to the negative 1 power plus 1 for all values of x for which the expression is defined. The reality is I've got that weird looking denominator. I'm going to deal with that first and then come back and talk about what I'm going to do with the 9. Now if I have a denominator, obviously I can't leave it as a fraction which is what this is going to end up being, but you'll see what we're going to do with it. x to the negative 1 basically just means 1 over x. Unfortunately, as a denominator, I can't leave it like that, so I need to come up with a common denominator in my denominator. Is that weird enough? So what we're going to deal with is I'm going to use x as my common denominator because the 1 has a lot of function. I can do whatever I want with it. So I'm going to leave it 1 over x. For the other one, if I'm going to have a common denominator of x, I need to have the numerator the same thing. That's how dividing by a number works. You have to divide it by itself to get back to 1. So I can rewrite this whole thing with a common denominator as x plus 1 over x. Because you know they love to have the x in the front. That's just like a math thing. So what I'm left with is something that looks a little bit like this put the 9 on top. But you can't have fractions and fractions. That doesn't make any sense. People's minds explode if you do that kind of thing. So what I'm going to do is treat it like 9 divided by x plus 1 over x. And I'm going to use what I learned like in the 6th grade, which was keep it, flip it, switch it. The keep part would be I would keep the 9. And if I wanted to, I could make a 9 over 1. It doesn't really matter. Then I'm going to flip the x plus 1 over x. So it becomes x over x plus 1. 1. And then I'm going to switch the sign from divide to multiply. From here, it's pretty simple. You just do 9 times x, which they'll, you just have them touch to show it's multiply. And 1 times x plus 1 is just x plus 1. So through all that, all I had to really do was get the denominator in order, then use my 6th grade keep it, flip it, switch it, divide fractions stuff that I learned. And I get my final answer for number 55, or 59, I'm sorry, to be D. So not a big deal.